we're basically fucked. We actually are. <laughs> CeraVe hydrating cleansers, then I got the CeraVe moisturizing lotion, and then the Nivea double effect eye makeup remover. So today is a Tuesday, and like every week, I don't have anything on a Tuesday so I kind of have a free day but I have a really busy week this week because I have an assignment to win um, it's the first week back after half term so I've got seminars again I also have a article which I need to give in I need to check it and give it by Friday as well. So basically Friday, I have two deadlines. I also have to prepare for a debate, which I have next week, which I'm literally dreading for so much because it's, I've never done a debate before, like a very formal debate. And this debate is for a optional module. And because of the pandemic, obviously, we are all unable to do it in person so it's going to be an online debate which I don't know if it's going to be easier or harder because now thinking about it I'm literally scared so much and I haven't prepped for it that much um, I'm supposed to have a meeting today with my team but um, yeah we'll see how that goes it's um, very sunny which is nice so I'm trying to get my plant to photosynthesize as much as possible today. Um, I also have my matcha. Mm. So good. So good. Non-international armed conflict. And does it change the character characterization of the conflict and the applications of international humanitarian law? Today we're really pleased to welcome Georgia, Josh and Thomas from uh, Civil Service who will be talking to you about the fast stream and so talking about the, the programme itself and also how to apply. Some of our personal accounts of what it's been like on the fast stream and kind of uh, the responsibilities we've had so far. In the Civil Contingency Secretariat in the Cabinet Office, which is a policy role. Over to you, Tom. Thanks, Josh. Um, so I'm a second year science and engineering fast streamer. Uh, I was in the Ministry of Defence in my first year in a sort of policy role. Civil Service is one of the largest employers in the UK. Um, fast streamers do get genuine responsibility from day one. And when we talk about our experience... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, a little bit. The question's a bit weird. Yeah, I don't like the question. At all. Like, I was just there trying to rack my brain. When is the debate? Next week. No way, are you serious? Next yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, my days. No, honestly, I'm slightly worried, because that guy... Yeah, the amazing team. Oh, is that yeah. the group? Yeah, we're going against them again. Oh, OK. Didn't understand it at all. Um, but from what I... Gathered, um, sec. We're basically fucked. <laughs> we actually are. <laughs> no, like, oh my god, guys, what are we gonna do? 
Uh, that would have been such a good idea. I'm not gonna. I mean, you can search for the names on uh, Outlook and then. We don't have to like ask them what points you're gonna say. We can just be like, what's your understanding of the question, and what yeah. areas are you gonna talk about? So then, and then we can help them as well if they're stuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how we'll help them, but I'm scared. Like the teacher's gonna be like, oh, I can tell you haven't, I haven't read really it. read it. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I'm sure they would have read. Like, they should, I'm sure they would have like double checked everything. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Bye, guys. Alright. Bye. 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 away is the product of a new influence and she has to prove that rather than the defendant what what is what is the significance of the Etheridge case I literally never eat avocados, so I don't know how, I don't know, okay. but yeah, I just finished a seminar, which was equity, and honestly, equity has been so hard, like, I know equity, mm, I don't know why I'm eating an avocado, I literally don't really like avocados, but... <laughs> I'm making an, a bagel, an avocado bagel. But I'm finding equity quite hard right now because it's just a hard module in general. So preparing for seminars, doing the readings, it's quite a lot. Um, and my seminars are two hours, so it's quite hard. But I think equity is one of the modules where once you put the work into it, it starts to make sense. decided to take a break from studying because I'm kind of burnt out and I don't want to study. <laughs> um, I have literally an assignment due in tomorrow and I need to submit it but instead of submitting it and working on it, I'm gonna read because I think it will be good for my brain and good for my sanity. Um, <laughs> I only have literally this much left to read. It's like 30 pages or so. And I've literally been needing to finish this book for so long. It's almost the end of February now. And my goal was to finish this in January and clearly I have not finished it, so.
so I just finished reading The Five People You Meet in Heaven and oh, I liked it because it was a very easy read. The language is quite easy to follow and the storyline is quite easy to follow as well. Even though the way it's constructed is quite confusing and weird because it keeps going between two flashbacks, the present and the past. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's a cross between fiction and self-help because it is a fictional book the way it's written but when you finish reading it and you see the whole thing it's very much a self-help book because it's filled with a lot of life lessons. Um, like the name says, the five people you meet in heaven, it's about a guy who after he dies he meets the five people in heaven who he impacted the most in his life or that had impacted him the most in his life on earth and it just talks about five lessons that he gets taught by these five people and the end is a lot easier to read um, the closer you get to the end just because the whole time towards the end I was thinking about who the last person was going to be and also um, it's very relatable I think um, because the main character is very relatable when you learn about the stuff that he went through a lot of people may feel like their life is quite meaningless you probably have had a big impact on someone's life even if it's a stranger or someone you literally have never known before which is very interesting because now i think about have if i've ever actually impacted like a stranger's life that much it was a very enjoyable book to read very easy book and now i can finally move on to reading a new book i love finishing a book and reading a new book <sighs> and i bought two more books because <sighs> I don't know what it is. I feel like buying books for pleasure is less, what's the word? It's less, um, like I feel less guilty buying books because they're books. And so I don't feel as bad. I'm not gonna buy another book until I finish these two, hopefully. Um, but these two I bought, they're both actually, I found both of them through book talk so book tiktok um i have a lot of book recommendation type tiktoks on my tiktok for you page so that's how i find like all of these books that interest me and there's a lot of good recommendations on book tiktok so love love that this one i've always kind of known about because everyone basically talks about how good it is the song of achilles by madeline miller and this book is also another fictional book i think it's a classic book i'm not too sure but it's kind of based in ancient greece time and then i also got a return to love by marianne williamson um this one i think is more of a self-help book but not sure if it's fictional, I don't think it's fiction, but no, I don't think it's fiction. So I might read it while I read this. Maybe I shouldn't do that because I can't multitask when reading books. This one is more about love, basically, as the name says, a return to love, and just how love at the end of the day wins and why everyone should just love more, um, which I think is a beautiful, meaning so can't wait to read this as well but i'm gonna read this one first and i'm so excited to read it in all honesty i think i've just been reading more leisurely books because i just don't want to read anything law related because i've been reading so much law recently because of my assignments i've been reading so many cases and articles about law and i've just wanted to take a break from reading that and so I've been trying to read a lot more things that were not relevant to law just to keep me sane and just to give my brain a break from reading law so, so yeah but speaking of I still have a lot of work to do for the rest of the day. I need to watch lectures and prepare for my last seminar of the week tomorrow which is a taught seminar um, so 
no matter how much I try, I can never escape my degree, so. Usually the process I go through to prepare for my seminar is watch lectures, try and do the required reading, and then answer seminar questions that I need to prepare for. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot that I have an assignment due tomorrow. Um, I haven't decided yet when I'm gonna submit my assignment. Uh, probably do my seminar prep first. I should probably submit my assignment first, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm gonna do that. Good morning, today is Friday and so I have a seminar at 1 in 6 minutes, I'm just waiting um, for it to start. Yeah, um, I slept so much and I'm still sleepy. <laughs> try to define it a bit more so how would you define what sort of harm one of the cases it described it as an assault on the mind yeah very good so What does case law say about these situations? In Wild, it said that it's more of an unfolding event because, yeah. and in the case, it says that it's a long and painful labor. So it's most likely in Wild, it said how the doctors were telling him that um, it was kind of like a build up, so it wasn't a shocking event. Yeah, very good, Catherine. And also, as Diana said, it doesn't matter. Uh, and in Wild, as well, we have these negligence. Uh, I just finished my seminar and I have the biggest headache right now, but yay, it's my last seminar of the week, yay. Wow, this lighting.
ever since my seminar I've just started working on my next assignment which is an essay. I haven't done an essay in a long time and I much prefer essays just because you can be a lot more critical and put your own thoughts so yeah and I'm really excited for this one because this one is one of my favorite modules I'm doing currently which is international humanitarian law and I just looked at all the questions and they're all really interesting it's like very hard to pick the question I'm doing is focused a lot on political leadership and how a lot of states especially western states like to use legal language to qualify and justify their actions in intervening for humanitarian um, reasons. It's 2,000 words, which isn't too bad. I think this is 40% of my module. I have an exam at the end of this year for this module, which is 60%, so hopefully I can get a good mark for this essay so that it will be less pressure off me but um, this is due in less than two weeks um, I didn't realize how soon this deadline was just because I was so caught up in my other assignment but I have my debate like I've been talking about next week and I'm literally so stressed about it I think I'm having another meeting tonight I'm not sure if we're still meeting up but literally have not prepared I literally don't know where to start uh, this, is, this debate module isn't really doesn't count towards my degree but it's on like the transcript of my degree so I need to pass it otherwise it's gonna say that I failed <laughs> so Your enemy. I just need another memory. That's all I want. 